What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Just talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. Shout out to you, Ryan, from the Scream Podcast. Big shout out to you and thank you for your sleuthing and detective work today. Ryan managed to come across what may potentially be some new cast members that have joined Courtney Cox in Scream 6. As you see here on your screen, this is coming to us from IMDb Pro and box office movie Mojo. Not to say that this is confirmed, of course, and not to say that you necessarily know who these two individuals are. And as you see in the thumbnail, I'm going to to see if this has anything to do with a potential stab nine that we may be getting so as you see here on your screen we have jason silva who will be portraying a character supposedly named jackson misen and then julia macchio or macchio who will be portraying a character named jacqueline mendoza so again probably don't know who those two are now when it pertains to jason uh while researching him i was managing to find that he has worked on the revival of gossip girl the recent revival of that show so many of you might recognize him if you're a fan of gossip girl and you've seen behind the images of that of that series and what i'm thinking is that maybe his character is an online person is a or a uh, on-air persona or personality with Gail Weathers on her morning show or maybe he has something to do with Gail Weathers and something related to her show or the network she works with or something else that I believe is still connected to Gail Weathers since there is still that belief that we are going to get a Gail centric narrative um, not to say that the, that the Carpenters were taking be taking a seat back but that she'll be in the Dewey role how Dewey was in screen five and then as it relates to Julia julia i don't really know this actress i haven't seen her in much i did look her up on instagram and shout out to uk because you pointed out to me that there seems to be some slight i guess more reason to believe that she's in the movie given that she is being followed by someone who's associated with jenna ortega as it pertains to like a talent agency or something like that but who this person is i would imagine might be related to a potential new stab movie maybe she's playing the in the in scream universe version of sam or tara maybe this is sam or tara in stab nine now i know with stab ever since its introduction since screen two with screen three screen four and of course screen five is like peak stab and its influence and how how much progression it's been intertwined into the narratives it's kind of become this thing where each subsequent sequel after its introduction stab has been more important each time when scream 3 kind of can forgive it there since scream 3 was intended to be the end scream 4 you have meta on top of meta intros and then ultimately with scream 5 we have the motive <laughs> and all the we have a motive that's basically centered around a, a proper stab film while also still going into the fact that there's been a new stab movie that the knives out guy directed and you know using that to commentate on toxic fandom uh and then again like i was talking about with scream 3 the cast of stab 3 being killed you know stab's influence has just been progressively getting more involved with the motive narrative of these films ever since its introduction with scream 2 so i would prefer to see it take a step back and tone it down not necessarily saying stab doesn't need to be out here but let's just say that if stab 9 is a thing could this be a feature film or is stab nine something that has been turned into maybe a limited series on netflix because we know netflix exists in this universe uh or something else and maybe that's who that actress is maybe she's portraying a the stab universe version of sam or tara i've seen people speculate that maybe she's related to sam and we might meet some new relatives of sam maybe she could be related to tara maybe if tara is in college she's a college roommate of tara's or something else altogether as it pertains to who she is but again these people might not be in the movie at all we won't know until we start officially getting cast announcements because the movie itself is expected to start shooting june 6th of this year out in montreal quebec canada so we'll come to know if these actors are actually involved in the movie or not i did try to reach out to one of them not that that was going to do any good <laughs> but we'll see what happens with that so as it pertains to those actors and actresses at least we have some fun speculating here as we always do uh and then at some point the speculation will become official news and other things for us to talk about as it pertains to scream six 
If this is related to a Stab 9, how would you prefer to see Stab 9 intertwined into Scream 6? Or would you rather not have a, have a Stab narrative or Stab mentioned at all whatsoever? Because I, I feel that some people do think that Stab is kind of running its course, especially with 5. 5 is like ultimately... If Stab had a WrestleMania, it's it's Scream Five. <laughs> For those of you who watch wrestling, if Stab had a WrestleMania, it's Scream Five. So I think a lot of us would rather see Stab downplayed in any future movies. I'm not saying erase Stab altogether, but take it a take it a step back. Give us something rooted in more of a maybe a revenge narrative or something that is not just hey i want a a stab sequel a stab sequel that lives up to my obsession with the original just something that puts stab i guess in a focus area but doesn't then make stab intertwined with the killer's motive and ultimately what the movie was all about uh, i think a lot of us again can agree that stab five or not stab five but scream five is basically stab at in its own wrestlemania the, the amount of influence stab has there is the most influence i would say it has in any of the movies since its introduction in scream 2 so we'll see if this ends up being a rendition of stab nine and that's who that that character will be if she's even in the movie we'll also see if uh, the other individual will have anything to do with this movie because production weekly i don't think there's been an update for a couple weeks as it pertains to scream six so if their names actually start appearing in production weekly then i think that's more reason for us to believe that they are in the movie but i wouldn't even say then that that's actual confirmation we should wait for press releases only because i recall for those of you who watch my chucky videos there was a time where i i had disclosed that it looked like janelle monet was going to be in the series she was on that production weekly listing for chucky season one we don't see janelle monet anywhere near chucky at this point so maybe something fell through the cracks there uh, but if their names do appear in a production weekly listing that i think will be more proof and reason to believe that these two are in the movie and hopefully all throughout may of course that's going to be a heavy news filled month for scream i saw people even speculating that that actress could be replacing replacing melissa barrera sam carpenter and uh absolutely not that's all i have to say to that absolutely not you can replace the in-world stab actors but don't mess around with anything here with scream at all let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links on social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video